A community transit service for residents of Candy Ojai County was founded in 1998, then known as Candy Ojai Area Transit. After adding Renville County in 2015 and Meeker County a year later to their service area, Central Community Transit was formed. You can find the CCT headquarters in Wilmer right across the street from the Wilmer Stinger Stadium. Tiffany Collins is CCT's transit director. We were meeting and this picture was taken uh, downtown at a very first office that we had. It, we barely fit in there to take this picture. She said that this original board spent many hours researching the best transportation service for their rural community. And you know what? None of these original board members were experts in transportation systems. What they had were skills and what people need. They were experts in knowing what seniors needed. They were experts in knowing what uh, children needed. They were experts in knowing what uh, the medical field needed. CCT has two different types of transportation offerings in their three county service area. There's the bus service and there's the volunteer driver program. Available for people aged 60 and older, the volunteer driver program expands CCT's reach and enhances the overall transportation system in this rural area. The volunteer driver program really provides a gap service for the overall transportation system because it is helpful to really get into the nooks and crannies of rural Minnesota. Uh, we can go directly to their homes. We can uh, pick them up when they're on the, they're still living at the farm, they're still living on the lake, they're still uh, living in the small towns and they need to get to getting their resources in the community. Drivers use their personal vehicles when volunteering and CCT reimburses their mileage. The volunteer driver program gets the majority of its funding from the Minnesota River Area Agency on Aging. There's also a fee that riders pay to use the service based on how far they ride, if they stay in town or need to go further away, and longer rides have a sliding fee scale based on the rider's monthly income. Jennifer Soybert is the volunteer driver coordinator and she gets to know driver preferences. If drivers prefer to stay in town or are able to commute further away, will they be able to drive during the winter or are they planning a vacation to Florida? Soybert said that although CCT is headquartered in Wilmer, their volunteer drivers are scattered all over CCT's service area. The ones here in town usually are doing three to four rides a day. So I will start them, a volunteer driver will usually pick like, hey, I want to do the morning. So I'll pick a 9.15 is one appointment, 9.30 is the next one, 9.45 is the next appointment. They'll get all these people to their place where they want to go and then they get a little business card the passenger does with the the volunteer driver's cell phone number on so when they're done with their appointment they can call them back hello hi lila hi this is linda at nelson chiropractic and um Beb is ready to be picked up and she'll be at the back door okay it'll be about five ten minutes Lila and Bob Reckadal have been married for 57 years and have been volunteer drivers for six. I'm Lila Reckadal and I'm a senior volunteer driver. My husband and I are retired and he needs to be doing something all the time. And I said, let's try this out and get this out of the house and um, we can meet new people that you wouldn't ordinarily. After responding to an ad in the paper, Bob was reluctant to start. Then they called me and they says, so are you going to drive or not? <laughs> so I said, well, I suppose I can. Yeah. And now I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to pick up a lady who wants to shop at Target and Cub. So we'll be taking her first. And then they all have my phone number with my card. So when they're ready to be picked up, then I go back to pick them up at the door. The volunteer driver program isn't ideal for people who use wheelchairs. Those riders need to use the bus service, but volunteer drivers are trained in helping people transport walkers and other walking aids. Lila, who is a retired business manager for the West Central Tribune, prefers to stay in town, while her husband Bob, a retired painter, is partial to the longer haul trips. His longest trip was to Mandan, North Dakota. Of course, for reimbursements, he keeps a log of all of his rides. This, is, this, isn't, the, this isn't the first book. I already filled up one. 
eggs all today. <laughs> no, not today. Since I started doing this five years ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is just from July 7th till now. On this trip, Bob was picking up Bill Hagen, a retired family practice physician from West Central Dental in Wilmer, with a final destination in New London. To be safe. <laughs> Bill buckled up and started talking with Bob like they were old buddies. And that reminds me of something my wife told me once. She, she could tell what time, of time, what kind of day I had by the way I opened the door. <laughs> Not the way I closed it, I opened the door. Bill Hagen, who doesn't drive anymore, had one criticism of the service. He didn't know about it sooner. But I didn't really understand uh, what this is all about until I needed it myself. Yeah. And it's very uh, uh, convenient. So it's a, it's a necessary, valuable service that should be supported by everyone. I think. But if you live long enough, you'll need it, or something like it. While there are a lot of moving parts for a service like this, working with schedules to get people to appointments on time and scheduling a fleet of mostly retired volunteer drivers, it seems like it's a service that benefits both the driver and the passenger, getting one person to where they need to go and giving another person something meaningful to do. My favorite thing of this service is giving back and helping the people. I mean, you hear so many stories of, I've been sitting here the whole day and I just need to get out. Mm -hmm. And to help them get out and just to have fun and enjoy life, I mean, that's what makes my day, is to get people out and about.